Hey, what's going on everybody out there? I'm Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this brand new episode of JJ's First 20. We're going to be looking at Doom Eternal, specifically the multiplayer of Doom Eternal. I've talked about this recently on my social media. Follow me on Twitter if you want to see exactly what I've been talking about on there. Uh, because I've been playing this game to do a video review for it here on the channel. And uh, one of the things that really stood out to me, that's something that I really wanted to kind of harp on a little bit, is the multiplayer. It's definitely not good. It's not great. It's kind of meh in comparison to the rest of the campaign or the rest of the package that is Doom Eternal. And I talked specifically why that is on my social media on Twitter, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to play like maybe a couple matches, depending if we have the time allotted to do so, to actually see why exactly Doom Eternal's multiplayer is just kind of meh. It's kind of bad. It's not that good. Uh, but as we're waiting for this to load up, again, we're going to do this all in real time. Let me know your own thoughts about Doom Eternal or Doom Eternal's multiplayer down in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, man, I've had a lot to say about this game. And while I really enjoyed the campaign, and I'm going to talk more in depth about that in my video review that's upcoming in the next few weeks, because this is actually going to be happening uh, at, in June after Star Wars Month is done, which Star Wars Month is pretty much done and over with. I already finished the final video for it. But this is going to be the first game review that I do post Star Wars Month. And this multiplayer, dude, I'm just so surprised that we don't have traditional team deathmatch. It's just so baffling to me that we just don't have a traditional multiplayer mode. It's just really weird because Doom, especially classic Doom, man, is all about like, whoops, hold on, whoops, let me actually get, get rid of that uh, sound there. Classic Doom multiplayer is all about like, you know, team deathmatch. Like, it's just so good. Like, I don't know why, you know, we would actually, whoops, hold on, let me go to double check my abilities. Okay, hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I'm good with all these. Ah, what the hell? We have to go back in there. Okay, so that's the other thing I, that I kind of... I experienced this beforehand, but not so much up until now. Uh, the matchmaking is kind of messed up. Probably because there isn't a lot of people playing Doom multiplayer as much anymore. But anyway, like I was saying, it's just so baffling to me since classic Doom multiplayer, like Doom on the, the Windows PCs, Doom 2, uh, I would even say Doom 64 slash Doom 3... Uh, and even the Doom 2016 reboot all had decent multiplayer for what it was. The original Doom multiplayer, which was kind of like, you know, the precursor to something like Quake, which is like the evolution of Doom multiplayer, uh, really was the genesis and the, one of the pillars of classic FPS multiplayer games. And we just don't see that in this game. Like, we get this mode called Slayer, which is what we're going to play now, hopefully, right? Again, I'm doing this all in real time. Hopefully, where it's just you, one player playing as the Slayer, and two other players playing as demons. And it's basically a two-on-one scenario. And the demon players have the ability to spawn other enemies and, you know, attack the regular Doom Slayer person. And that's pretty much, like, their main thing of what they do. It's just really annoying. Okay, so let me ready up because I'm ready to roll. Okay, here we go. Finally, we're going to get into a matchup. Hmm. Hmm. Don't, okay, I'm about to say they're going to choose like some of the enemies that I really don't want them to choose. But this is not too bad. This is still be tough, but it's still, again, you're going to see exactly what my biggest issue is with this multiplayer eventually, right? One of the things that you could do as the demons is that you could choose this floating head, which is one of the floating eye enemies that allows you to float up in the area and just get away from the slayer person. And it allows your person, if they get killed, your teammate to spawn up and just continuously do that. It's just really annoying. But anyway, I'm playing as the Slayer right now. And you're going to see just how difficult it could be sometimes, you know, trying to deal with this stuff. I might get lucky and I might be able to kill them pretty fast. But again, two on one, any scenario, scenario in general is going to be difficult. But here we go. Time to kill some demons. Oh yeah, about to get super metal. And then that guy's playing as a Marauder, which is... You know, they're pretty strong as the CPU, because the CPU, I think, like, cheats in the main campaign as that enemy. And then Homeboys as a Revenant. He's he's one of the alternate colored Revenants, so he might be good. <laughs> he might be real good. Yeah, let's go, son. Let's go, B. Let's go, son. I see you. I see you lurking. Oh, shit.
Let's go, sir. Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta actually use this. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to move around and not just get destroyed out here. I'm trying to make sure that I can play smart. Oh, ooh, damn, that was a direct... You saw that? Yeah, let's go, son. Uh. Come on, let's go. Get some health out here. Whoa. What? Damn it, okay, I gotta... I gotta get this enemy over here. There we go, get some an get some ammo. Ah, oh, lucky bastard, lucky fuck. Shit. Shit, I gotta get out of here. Damn it, yeah. Because that's the thing, like, they could block your ability to gain loot, so you can't gain ammo. And it'll just, like, completely stop you from actually re recovering and stuff. And that gets a little bit annoying. Let's, uh... Let's go with, uh... Dashing regenerates more quickly. Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> let me do that so I can get a boost here. Okay. There we go, I got all that stuff now. Let's go. Where are you? Where are you motherfuckers? Let's go. Let's go, son. Coming right for you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ah, damn it. There he is. Got his ass. Okay. Oh, whoa, I didn't get- oh, wow. I got, like, no health. I got, like, no health right now. Shit. So this is- this is- this is where you find yourself, like, in against two enemies. Okay, there you go, he got me in from far distance. That's the position you find yourself in at times when you got two on one. Remember, the other two people that I'm playing against, they could spawn enemies. Cools. There we go, reduced by 10 seconds per- per pet. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. So that way I could get more ammo much more quickly. So getting these various uh, boosts. Oh, wow, look at that. Damn, damn, that got mad faster. Now, keep in mind, they're getting boosts, too, for, like, various different things. And look, they got already blocked my loot. Damn. Yeah, there's nothing I could do about it. Like, I was just totally screwed there. That's the problem. Like, look at that. I got washed. And you could even, you could argue, like, hey, Jay, maybe you kind of suck there. But it's like, look what I'm being stacked up against. So, I'm getting boost, but their boosts are completely, like over dominate me or mine and my abilities so it just is kind of crappy so what i could have done is i could have probably focused on some of the other enemies instead of them but even then like it just gets mad annoying dealing with that so we could try it again just so i could give you guys an idea or i could go to you know what let's try one more time since they're already here and then what i'll do is i'll switch over to playing as the demons and you guys could definitely see the difference you know, from um, perspectives here, because I just think that this is, like, such a one-sided deal against demons. Now, again, they're not picking the character. Oh, well, player left the lobby. Oh, that sucks. So, so, you know what? Let's go to playing as the demons, right? So, like I was saying, the the momentum and just the matches are tipped so in favor of the demon team, it's not even funny. And they didn't even choose the characters or the demons that I think is, like, the worst offenders of this. Because if you're able to kill one person... 
Like that, all they have to do is just float away as that other demon, and they just have the other person respawn. They could do that continuously, and it gets super annoying. But it is what it is. Maybe depending on time frame, I might be only be able to show you guys one more match. But still, that's the main thing and the main reason why I don't like this multiplayer game mode. I just find it to be very, very annoying on either side because it kind of makes it not that fun when you're playing as the demons and you're just ragging on this player. Like, there's no sense of, like, shifting momentum. Uh, I mean, you could even argue, too, technically, if the Slayer player was really good, if the Slayer was, like, really, like, a good person playing as that character, uh, they're able to kind of, like, use whatever exploits that they can. But even then, it's just... I, I just don't find much joy in it. I just find it like I would get so much more fun playing traditional multiplayer. Like, why can't we just all be Doom Guy and play Team Deathmatch? That's just just the my mindset. And again, I could be wrong on that. Let me know in the comments down below. Talk to me about that stuff. It's just really annoying to me. But anyway, as the demons, you'll you'll get to see in just a bit. Uh, I get to summon other minions, other enemies that'll help me out. Uh, funny enough, that the match I was just in, those guys weren't summoning as many demons as I thought. They did summon a few, but not, like, a lot of them. And, uh, what is it called? Okay, here we go. And, uh, I think they only use, like, so many abilities. Okay, there we go. So, I'm playing... This is the one I'm talking about. The Pain Elemental, okay? So, the Pain Elemental gets a number of different things. Okay? That... He not only could float around, but he could also shoot long-range, like, missiles or, or an attack. And then summon from a distance, which is, you know, like a godsend for most people. So while the Marauder, that dude is coming after us like really hardcore. You know, I'm just floating away, hitting this guy from a distance, being safe, while also summoning demons. So anyway, here we go. That guy's got the same uh, logo as me too. Same icon. <laughs> Demon abilities. The demons pro tips. <laughs> just win the match by default. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. This is gonna be a thing, man. You're gonna see how crazy and how different this is. Then again... The Slayer could actually really dominate us for all we know. <laughs> but like I said, like I played a bunch of matches so far and it's always been that the Slayer just gets completely steamrolled by demons most of the time. So there you go, there I am. There goes the Slayer player. There goes us. There's the Marauder, my teammate. And then there goes me. The pain elements are laughing at you. Okay, so here we go. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. So I go all the way up here. I'm gonna choose my summon. Start summoning stuff. Ooh, well, okay, he already spawned, spotted me. See, look at that, we already got him on the run. We already got him on the run, son. Oh, wow, that dude's just like, he's not running. Right here. So, damn, this guy might actually went. Oh, wait, no, no. We got his ass. Slayer looters. That's right, son. We're blocking all your loot. We're coming right for you, son. Look at, look at me just creeping on him. Like, this is what I could do. And if my teammate dies, we're totally fine. Like... Look at that, like, we're just, like, destroying his ass. He's got, like, very little health. Okay, hold on. He killed him, so I gotta float away. So I gotta float away. Yep, see? Like, this is what I could do all day. Nope, nope, no, 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 come on. Where's my, where's my spawn? Ah, okay, he's catching up to me. So, no, there we go, now... See, now I resurrected. Now I can just float away. Where is he? Where'd he go? See, there we go. Now, that did take a little bit of finesse, though, okay? Because, again, my other teammate, you know, he probably wasn't doing as much as he probably could. But still... So now I get a bigger bar. Buff minions. Yeah, that's what I want. Buff minions. Like, look at this. Now all my minions get buffed on top of me, on top of my teammate, whatever buff they get on top of that. <laughs> you see how it, started? it starts to be a little bit one-sided here? Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a tiny bit one-sided. So here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose the spider walker. 
Okay, whoa, there we go. There we go, let's, uh... Okay, where is he? Dude, see, look at that. We're already, like, destroying his ass. See, there, there you go. Like, it, it's done. It was so fast. It was just so fast. Like, the Slayer, I feel like, has little to no chance dealing with stuff. Oh, well, your soul barrier is that. A flying meatball, bigger health bar, tactician. Just last longer, maybe use more frequently. Thieving hand. There's... Some dealt by summoned minions is given to you as health. Yeah, yes, of course I'm going to take that. So every time my minions hit him, I'm going to gain health on top of my own health regeneration. Okay, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Look at that. Look, I'm gaining health. <laughs> like, I already see them, like, attacking him. Look at that, there's a fire attacking from a distance over there. Whoops. Okay, yeah, like he's trying to hit me now. Look at that, now he's just getting destroyed. Look at look at that, just destroyed. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh there he is. Like he's he's running away now because he's got very little health, like. Look, he's got, like, little to no health. See, there we go. It's over. Like, I <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you guys. Like, it's so... It's so one-sided. It's so one-sided. Now, that's with me playing keep away. Imagine if I was playing another character and I was aggressive going at his ass. Like, it would just be so tilted in our favor. It's just much easier to win as the demons than it is as the Slayer. And it shouldn't be that way. Or, again, we should have a completely other multiplayer mode that is just, you know, more about, like, Team Deathmatch or traditional Team to Deathmatch, man. So, I just wanted to show you that. And, again, there was only two matches that I could really show you. But I think you guys get my point. Like, it's pretty straightforward. Again, within the allotted time I'm given here. And... This is just my my reasoning with it that this multiplayer mode is not really going to factor too much into my review because I think you could completely avoid this and get a different type of experience just playing through the main campaign of Doom, which I feel like really is why a lot of people are going to play this game overall. So now I should mention that I am playing this on a PlayStation 5. As you guys can see here, I have the PS4 version of the game. Some people will play it on PC, but I'm playing it on the PS4 slash PS5 version of this game. Even though there is no upgrade or anything like that. But still, that's where I'm going to base most of my thoughts about this game in my review. So, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys got a little bit much more insight or enjoyed just seeing some of the matches and the hilarity that comes with this. Let me know your own thoughts about Doom Eternal down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video, of course, as well. Share it with your friends. Let them know that I'm going to be doing a review of Doom Eternal very soon. And don't forget, too, make sure you guys join the Discord. There is a ton of stuff going on in my Discord server, including stuff about gaming, stuff about anime, Star Wars stuff, since we just had Star Wars Month, and a whole bunch of other stuff. That being said, I will talk to all of you again very soon.